know this looks like nothing more than a regular microwave, but it is. This is a microwave convection oven combo. And if you have one of these in your RV and you're not quite sure what it is or how it works, stick around and I'm gonna tell you why it's probably the coolest kitchen gadget in your RV. This nifty machine is a microwave and an oven all in one. Now, because different brands have different settings and options, make sure to read your owner's manual. If you can't find your owner's manual, most can be found online by searching your model number, which can typically be found on the inside of the machine. The microwave settings are pretty straightforward and it's gonna work like most any microwave you've used in the past. What really makes this machine different is the convection oven mode. A convection oven uses a heating element, not microwaves, along with a fan to circulate air all around, which provides nice, even cooking. So you don't get hot spots, your food still crisps up, but stays moist and typically cooks faster. This means you can bake and roast just like you would in any oven. However, there's a few things you'll need to know. When using the convection oven mode, you wanna make sure and use the oven racks that came with your unit. It's important because the hot air needs to circulate all around the food for even cooking. Because a convection oven is using a heating element and not microwaves, you can use regular bakeware. However, you'll want to choose bakeware that has lower sides, nothing too deep or tall, so that hot air can circulate all the way around the food. Now, because it is circulating all the way around the food, it typically cooks faster. So you may want to reduce your cooking times and temperatures by around 20%. But again, check your owner's manual. For example, I have cookies that call for a 375 degree preheated oven and they bake for 10 to 14 minutes. So I'll start with a 350 degree oven and bake for eight minutes. My oven is super easy to set. I just hit convection bake. It asks for the temperature, which I'm gonna set at 350 instead of the 375. I'm gonna press enter and it says press start to preheat. So I'm gonna wait for the oven to preheat once it's done, it will beep to let me know that the food is ready to go in the oven. My oven is preheated and ready to go. Now it's telling me to enter my bake time, which is eight minutes I've decided. And I'll hit start. Simple as that. My timer is up, but I can tell by looking that my cookies need about another minute or two. So I'm gonna go ahead and add two more minutes. They look done. Simple to use and it works great. It's a pretty nifty gadget for a tiny kitchen. See you on the road.